Today, various video phones are available that enable the user to monitor the person standing in front of the main door. This enhances the security of residential premises. But what if a large enterprise is willing to implement such system in which, whenever a person tries to enter the restricted area, some real-time notification along with the live view of security cameras should be generated so that the command to lock or unlock the door can be sent. Integration of Matrix Course Centra with Samas Management Server provides such options using which the administrators can monitor the cameras and decide whether to allow the access to the person or deny it. So to do this, details of management server should be entered in COSEC and the details of COSEC Centra server should be entered in Samas. So let's get started. Configurations in COSEC go as follows. Open COSEC web application. Enter the administrator username and password and click login. Go to admin module. Go to system configuration then monitor configuration. Select the default monitor. Click edit button. Expand optional parameters. Select export events as all from the drop down. Enter the management server's IP address. Enter the port number as 8089 which is the default COSEX server port. Enter the retry count and polling interval as required. Click save to save the configuration. This is all about the configuration in COSEC. Configurations in SAMAS go as follows. Open SAMAS admin client, enter the credentials and click login. Go to servers and devices module. Check whether the cameras are connected or not. Now go to general settings module. Go to access control. Check enable access control integration flag. Enter COSEC server's IP address and the port. Enter the administrator username and password. And click Sync. All the devices added in COSEC monitor application will be listed here. Now go to Actions and assign an appropriate camera to this device. In this manner, SAMAS and COSEC can be integrated. Now to set the event and action in SAMAS, follow further steps. Open SAMAS admin client. Go to event and action module. Go to access control server. Select the COSEC device. All the predefined events related to the device will be shown. Select the desired event. Go to add action. All the actions for the selected event will be shown. Select trigger alarm. Select the schedule for this action. Select the alarm, click new alarm to create a new alarm, 
enter the desired name, set the priority and select the alarm live. To add the cameras to this alarm, click the recording server and then double click the cameras. Click OK. Double click the alarm. The alarm will be shown as selected. Check EMAP alert checkbox to enable EMAP notifications. Double click the users to add in recipients list who all will receive the notification. The action will be added as shown. Following the same procedure, the action for the event user denied can also be set. In this manner, the actions for predefined events can be set. We will also add an EMAP for a better clarification on how the soft alarm works. For this, open admin client and go to EMAPS module. Click add to add an EMAP. Enter the desired name of the map. Enter an appropriate location. Click browse to set the image file of the map. Click add entity to add servers, cameras, etc. Drag and drop the cameras at their respective positions. Also add the access control device. Set the direction of the cameras as required. Click apply. With this, SAMAS is all set to provide you real-time notifications. Real-time notifications can be received in SAMAS Smart Client. Suppose a concerned person is presently monitoring the cameras live. Meanwhile, a person to whom the access inside HO is denied enters. He punches on the device anyway. Because of setting the action for the event user denied, the soft alarm will trigger. Go to Alarms and click Preview. The live view of cameras added in the alarm will start. Now go to EMAPS. The access control device will blink. Click on the device and select Live View. The live view of the camera assigned to the device will start. If the person is to be allowed the access, click on the device and select Unlock. The door lock will deactivate allowing the person to get inside. Thus, using SAMAS and COSEC integration, actions can be taken for the events related to access control devices. Thank you for watching this video.